Each airport has characteristics that can lead pilots to make errors that result in wrong surface operations, runway incursions, or other surface events. This video will enhance your situational awareness during airport operations by increasing your awareness of these challenges. Let's take a look at issues you might encounter at Kenosha Regional Airport from the flight deck. Kenosha Regional is a large general aviation airport located approximately halfway between the cities of Milwaukee and Chicago and just west of the city of Kenosha, Wisconsin. Pilots, please note, Waukegan Airport, UGN, is just 11 nautical miles south with a similar layout and can be easily confused with Kenosha. The runway configuration consists of a set of parallel runways labeled 725 left and right. There is a single runway crossing both parallels labeled runway 1533, and there are full-length parallel taxiways alongside each runway. All services and facilities are found between and south of the parallel runways. The traffic mix is primarily general and business fixed-wing and helicopter operations. When arriving to Kenosha on the 25s, pilots sometimes mistake taxiway Alpha for runway 25 left. This may be due to the different colors of the surfaces. Runway 25 left being a much darker color may not appear to be a runway. Carefully study the airport diagram or AD and runway numbers before departure to avoid this type of error. When landing the other way on runway 7 left and right, pilots need to be aware that the thresholds are offset by 3,000 feet and runway 7 left is approximately double the size of runway 7 right. One mitigation strategy to avoid wrong surface landings here might be to load an instrument approach or create a GPS user waypoint aligned with your assigned runway. If you are unclear on how to do this, please refer to your equipment's user manual. While the use of technology should never replace basic piloting skills, it can be used to enhance situational awareness. There is one hotspot on the airport located in the vicinity of taxiways Echo and Delta. The area is not visible from the tower due to buildings, and pilots can miss hold short markings, especially taxiing from Echo to Delta. Pilots may be asked for additional position reports when operating in the area. Another area, not listed as a hotspot, but still obstructed by buildings, can be found on taxiway Alpha between Alpha 6 and 7. Precise position and sequence reports to the tower will be greatly appreciated. Direct access from ramp areas to runways has been identified as a causal factor in runway incursions nationwide. There are several areas at Kenosha that have this arrangement. From the south ramp to runway 33 taxiway Foxtrot provides direct access. The terminal area and the east ramp taxiways Delta 1 and Bravo 2 directly access runway 1533. Lastly, runway 7 right 25 left is accessed directly from Charlie 2 and taxiway Delta. Extra vigilance when operating in these areas will help avoid a costly error. Please remember, if you are ever in doubt of any control instruction, clearance, or position on the airport, the easiest answer is to ask the tower. They are there to help. Being aware of hotspots and configuration issues will, along with the air traffic control tower, make flying safe and more efficient. Now you're better prepared for your trip to Kenosha Regional Airport. It's always better to know before you go.